Please welcome your first fighter making his way to the blue corner, representing France, Aziz Hayali. Well, the main event indeed. And a belt up for grabs. From France, known as the magician, Aziz Khlahli. This guy is capable of pulling juggernaut blows out of a hat, not just rabbits. He's really, really got his work cut out against him tonight though, because he's up against a man that you cannot say too much about it. But Aziz Khlali, Muay Thai world champion, WPMF European champion, France national champion, they call him the magician. He comes from Arabic origins. He'll bring that with him tonight as the spirit of his outing here will come into play. He will need it as he performs a wide crew. His opponent tonight the man who's just about to be announced, a legend. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the second challenger making his way to the red corner. He represents Thailand. Please welcome Santai. What an event this has turned out to be. The main event, Santai. Described as the pound for pound best Muay Thai fighter ever. A living legend. Debuts tonight at Phoenix 2 in Beirut, Lebanon. Sanchai is without doubt one of the most well known Muay Thai fighters in the world. What are you going to say about this man? Well, the list is endless. Sanchai, 2014 Toyota Marathon runner-up, 2013 Toyota Vigo Marathon tournament, 2012 Muay Thai Warriors welterweight 65 key champion, 2012 WPMF interim world welterweight champion, WBC diamond world champion, WMC world lightweight champion, Lumpini Stadium lightweight champion, Toyota Cup tournament champion, world lightweight champion, Lumpini Stadium super featherweight oh, champion. From the USA, Mr. Blake Grice overseeing proceedings. Sanchai performs his white crew. And uh, well, you could only ever get halfway through the accolades that Sanchai holds. Lumpini Stadium champion, pound for pound, the best. Muay Thai fighter in the world. The Phoenix world title up for grabs. 
the junior welterweight championship title at the weight. Lumpini Stadium super featherweight champion, Lumpini Stadium bantamweight champion, Lumpini Stadium super flyweight champion. What are you going to say about Sanchai? He's won this championship at Lupini in four different weight divisions, always fighting larger opponents. That's why, pound for pound, the best tie fighter. 1999 to 2014, he's reigned terror in this weight division. That's why he's regarded as one of the best of all time. The Y crew performed in honor of Masters past and Masters present and the crowd in appreciation of this respectful ritual dance that says thanks for all the blessings that are bestowed upon this great champion. As Islali watches on and gives due respect to this man who literally is a living legend. The crowd's absolutely lapping up this Y crew. Sanchai enjoying every second of it. And this in itself is an experience for any Muay Thai aficionado. So just to remind you, you are about to witness the main event here at Phoenix 2, coming to you from the Nuhad Nafal Stadium here in Zoukmikal, Beirut, Lebanon. Over to Grant Waterman. Blake Grice providing the instruction for this five round title bout. What a way to end the evening after what has been an absolutely stupendous second Phoenix fighting championships outing. Well, after doing his duty in the ring, I'm joined again ringside by legendary fight sport referee Grant Waterman. Grant, I've just been telling the fans watching live here in the auditorium, live on TV and live on pay-per-view online, we are witnessing a living legend. We are witnessing a, w a living legend. The main event of Phoenix Fighting Championships, number one was none other than Burkow. On the second event, only the second event, we have in the main event, Sanchai. It's incredible. Where can we go from here? That's the, that's the question. Well, they can always come back and fight another day, but uh, the action here will dictate. And already, Sanchai starting to get the crowd warm up. Klaagli responding in kind, and he's no slouch, Klaagli. And the opening gamut, well, he sends Sanchi to the mat, and that's an opening statement, a statement of intent. Now, what's interesting, the Frenchman, Halali, has got a huge reach advantage. What I love to see from these ties of this class is the way they check their kicks, but they check body kicks with the shin as well. Well... Just to give you an idea, liver kick, that's nice. Lali responds with a low kick. Just to give you a check on reality here. When we say pound for pound the best, when we talk about living legends, Grant, this is, this is the numbers. 303 wins. Wins. 
Yes. 52 losses. I mean, it's incredible. It doesn't actually roll off the tongue, it's so incredible. It is, isn't it? I mean, it, three, a, a total of three, uh, 360 odd fights. It, it's absolutely phenomenal. Sanchai must have been fighting in his sleep. From the womb. I mean... Yeah, There's yeah. the action, low kick and that big overhand left. He had his first three fights before he was born. <laughs> well, I'm laughing, but it's no laughing matter there for Aziz Khali being put under pressure. Big bombing overhand punch, and then the high kick goes up. And he's got the height advantage and the reach advantage, Grant, as you said. Well, he's the bigger of the two. They weighed in at similar weights. Sanchai cut about three kilos leading up to this. I don't know how much weight Halali cut and then put back on. Well, this is what they say Sanchai does. The bigger they come, the harder they fall. He's the man that will send you to the mat. And there's the kick that's decided. It's a knockdown! Sanchai with an opening gamut there. Straight kick into the midsection. And Halali goes down. Aziz Halali could not help but be put on the canvas by that kick. And you saw he didn't know where it came from. And it absolutely amazed him, didn't it, with the effect. Absolutely. Sanchai pulled that out from nowhere. Again, the liver kick. And Clark Lee does a good job of catching that, but checks the kick and gets rocked back himself from Sanchai. There's the bell, my goodness. Look at the smile, look at the dance. And that's something there we just saw Sanchai playing about. But I've seen him in many, many fights do that cartwheel kick and land it and knock people out with it. Well, I've got to say, we've had one round of this five-rounder, and that's your ticket money right there. So, are we going to see an early finish to this? I think it's safe to say Sanchai is in the driving seat, in the fast lane of well, the motorway, with uh, cruise control on. Well, it's... Yeah, I mean, the class is just incredible. Um, Aziz Halali, Halali came into this very, very confident, very sure of himself in the weigh-ins. He wasn't phased at all. During the Rye crew, he wasn't phased at all. His confidence didn't waver. However, that liver kick that dropped him is going through his mind right now, I can assure you. You know what? You're right, because I'm telling you now, Aziz Khalali, when that liver kick landed, suddenly decided he wasn't in Kansas anymore. This is a whole world of pain he's entered to with Sanchai. And Sanchai's like a surgeon. Well, a high kick sailed over. There was a slip. Lucky for Khalali that he did, because if that high kick had landed, boom, he'd have hit the roof. Yeah, what's happened here? They've, uh, there's been a few knockdowns, and the tie oil that they cover themselves in has, uh, has made the canvas a little bit slippery. Well, it's something else to worry about for Klali. Looking confident, but you just know Sanchai's got this. But good work from Klali. Throwing up shots. So is Sanchai. And Halali looks like the more athletic of the two, phys physique-wise. I mean, Sanchai is very deceptive in appearance, isn't he? He absolutely is. That's a pocket dynamo. He really is a powerhouse. And after 358 fights, he's still enjoying what he's doing. Look at the smile. Look at the smile. Bye, hun. I'm off to work. And that's a man that's happy in his work. And what I love, he's not just a fighter. He's an entertainer. We've, we've seen that already. Absolutely. And uh, there's that kick again. Whoa. Farley does well to take it. Replies with a low kick on the inside. Referee Blake Greiser intervening there. Well, Farley now starting to get the measure of this. In the clinch, working away. Still got over a minute left for some good work in this second round. It makes you wonder, you know, Sanchai is an entertainer. He probably wants to finish this fight 
with a spectacular technique, although <laughs> Halali wants to finish the fight with a spectacular technique. Yeah, and that was a slip there, and uh, it's getting a bit boring now, I think, for Halali, because, um, well, it takes an awful lot of effort to get back up off the ground. Yeah, if you keep going down and keep getting back up, that's why this clinch work and the throws, people don't understand. Uh, we were talking earlier about the intricacies of it, but actually what that does to a fighter and, and his gas tank. Well, already you can see the stomach abs, the abdominal muscles of Aziz Khali, they're glowing red. You could warm your hands on that on a cold night. He's really taken a shot there, and you, it's hard to come back from that because that's a real, real, you know, floating kidney killer kick. Yep, yep, those floating ribs. There it is again, right on the target. This time Sanchai takes a nasty slip. Sanchai wasn't happy about that. Uh, <laughs> Lali just wrestling him a bit when they're on the ground. Let's see if they touch gloves. Yes. So, just over 20 seconds left now. Round two. It's been a much better round for Lali. Goes to the mat again from the clinch. And Sanchai just at will working his bigger opponent down. But Halali cannot, definitely cannot be written off, still dangerous. He's a big man at this weight. Well, he certainly is. And, you know, we've seen some full fat fight action tonight, make no mistake. Some of the outings we've seen, just absolutely spectacular and surprising. So, two minutes for a breather, and that will be uh, much and if you have taken a body shot to the liver, to those floating ribs, had the wing knocked out of you, this two minute rest really is something that gives the fighters a boost. One minute, man, you can't really recover. Two minutes, compose yourself, get your, get your lungs working again and recover from a body shot like that. Get your wind back and then it makes it that much more exciting when they get back in there. Yeah, as I was saying, I was going to say, much appreciated by both fighters, that extended rest period. Here's a little bit of the action from that second round. And uh, I was going to say, we've seen action tonight. We've seen some real upsets. Fantastic win in the previous bout by David Wilmot with that win over Mohamed Garabi. That was a special knockdown. We've seen Wendell Roche stopped by Stephen Banks. A real international event here. Over 10 nations participating in Phoenix 2. What an impressive, impressive turnout for the books. Round three of this five rounder. Well, both fighters meet centre. Frenchman Aziz Khali. And Sanchai. Oh! That high kick came straight up. Yeah. Sanchai swerved it. Lali now has a different dynamic about his work. He looks busy. This is a pivotal round in a five rounder. Sanchai, well, just being outstepped by Lali. Lali has just got such confidence about his work now, and he looks to bring some business to this. That was one up the middle. I thought it was in the crown jewels, but Sanchai shook it off very well. Beautiful front teeth right through the front door. So, uh, as this round started, Sanchai was attacking the left side of, uh, of Lali's body. Sanchai starting to get caught now. Lali has upped his game really, really, really. Started to be crisp and sharp about his work, and that's what's going to out here. And apart from the fact that he's an entertainer and he uses these uh, crazy techniques like that cartwheel kick sometimes, one thing that impresses me impresses me skill-wise of Sanchai is his hands. He's a very good boxer uh, with regards to Thai boxing. A lot of Thai boxers, they're not great boxers. They're good at Muay Thai, they're good with their knees, with their elbows and with their kicks, the low kick. But their boxing leaves a bit to be desired, but Sanchai's got great hands. Well, we saw Kha Lee doing the Sanchi shuffle. Did a little skip before he went in on the attack. 
And so Vali's sending out a strong message and saying, I'm still in this. Sanchai shakes his head and says, we'll see about that. But, uh, well, with one minute 30 left in round three, it's still everything to play for. It is everything to play for. You can't write Halali off. You know, he's got a fight record of 91 wins with eight losses and one draw. I mean, that is credibility in itself. Hugely impressive and not frightened to take on Sanchai. And of course, everything to win here. Sanchai's got nothing to lose, really. Oh, and there's the takedown. He took a little crisp right hand, Sanchai, but he put his man down. And I think Aziz Halali has shaken off that liver kick earlier on. He's very, very confident, isn't he? Absolutely, Grant. Really brimming, as if he knows something we don't. And against a, well, a legend like oh. Sanchai, the Frenchman took a, a straight right there. It was right on the button. On his toes, still moving straight left through the front door. Sanchai kissed a little bit of glove skin there. Yes, nice jab. And again, that left hand working well. Right hand over the top. There's the clinch as he's starting to sparkle here now. And when I say that, against an opponent like Sanchai, any success is illustrious. Yeah, yeah. But he doesn't need his confidence boosting. Sanchai goes upstairs for the kick. And there's a flying double jump kick from Frenchman Aziz Khakli right on the belt. What a finisher. And he looks for appreciation. That was fantastic. He obviously had that planned before the fight. That's one of Sanchai's little techniques. And both fighters appealing to the crowd here. Not taking time to rest during the rounds, but seeking crowd approval. And look at Aziz Khali. Still very much in this. Well, what a cracker this is turning out to be in the main event. So, that rest time. Well, my bad, I have to say, I was under the impression that this was to go for five rounds but it's been modified to three. So in actual fact, that was the third and final round with a finish by Aziz. With that, the announcements being made, I don't think there can be any doubt about the decision. Sanchi will put this in the back pocket so easily. My goodness me, we thought we had another two rounds in us, but it's been my bad. Well, I just have to say, the announcement to be made. What an entertaining way to finish the end of our evening. But after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner and new Phoenix World Champion. Sanchai takes the win. We thought we was maybe it was wishful thinking on my part that it would go an extra two rounds because to watch Sanchai in action is absolutely magical. Well, I thought we'd be treated to more. There's the decision. I kind of think it was only ever going to go one way. Sanchai takes the win. I have to say, as the photo opportunities are being lined up and the presentations are being made by, of course, Mr. Chahi Jerevenian, the CEO of Phoenix 2, what a successful event, what a night, live from Beirut. I've got to tell you, please watch your internet social announcements for further information on up and coming Phoenix events. Till the next time, I've got to thank you from Grant Waterman and I've got to thank you from me, Sensei Will Vanders. Till we meet again at Phoenix 3. As the camera closes up on the winner, Sanchai, it's Suwadikop and Us from all of us here at Phoenix 2. Till the next time. Ladies and gentlemen of Lebanon, I'm here with our new Phoenix World Champion and living legend Sanchai Suwadikop.
You have anything to say to the Lebanese fans? Oh, I'm very happy. Very thank you for people who come look me fight. I'm very really happy. Good people, good promoter, good everyone. Thank you, thank you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, your new world champion, Sancho! Well, I thought I would have the last word, but Sanchez delivered that message. Thank you to Phoenix 2 and the people of Lebanon. Till the next time, again, from me, Sensei Will Vanders and Grant Waterman. Aziz Halali, a fantastically entertaining fight. You are the most confident fighter of the evening, I have to say. And you even tried the same side cartwheel kick at the end. Brilliant. Anything to say to the Lebanese fans? Uh, when I have uh, 13 years, I won't fight with this man, this legend. His name is Senchai. And he have And my dream for fight Senchai. And, and I look every, every time when I train, every time I look this man, this other time. And I want to uh, I want to give thanks for all team Phoenix for this invitation and and uh, and trust me and uh, I'm very very happy and thank you for for all uh, all people in Bani and with my sponsor and my dream my dream team thank you and you thank you very much. The dream team, well, merci beaucoup. But you know, Aziz, when you fight a legend, you become a legend too. Thank you very much. Well, Ladies again. And gentlemen, that concludes Phoenix Fighting Championships number two. We'll see you next time at Phoenix Fighting Championships number three. Keep up with all the action at phoenixchampionship.com. And hook us up on Facebook at Phoenix Fighting Championships. We'll see you next time.